You ever been spiritually attacked? And I'm talking about spiritually attacked in your mind, where your mind is just convoluted with all these negative thoughts, all these negative thinking, all these negative views, and you're just being tormented day in, day out with these thoughts that keep on replaying in your mind. And when you try to go to sleep, you have nightmares and you can't sleep and you wake up in cold sweats and your your heart rate is elevated, you're sweating and you're literally in fear and your body's reacted like it's been in fear and under stress and, and you just can't find your body to relax. Spiritual attacks, man, they are so powerful. I've been spiritually attacked so many times in my life and I'm here to just share this message because lots of people don't talk about this. They don't think it's real, but I'm telling you it's real. I've been spiritually attacked in a way where I was so depressed and filled with anxiety, I couldn't even get one sentence out. I couldn't even do one simple task. That's how bad I was spiritually attacked with fear and anxiety and stress. Uh, that's one time. Another time was when I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep for seven months. I, every time I closed my eyes, I felt like darkness and, and evilness was closing in on me. And I'd wake up and I'd be praying and praying and praying and it just wouldn't go away. And finally, I went on a sabbatical and I traveled around Europe and I went to churches and I prayed and I lit up candles and I prayed and I prayed and I got, I got delivered in Venice, Italy. I, um, this dream I had, I was, I was running and somebody was chasing me with a gun and they were trying to shoot me and they shot me and in that moment I felt myself dying but as in that moment that same exact moment I was being sucked through a vortex like like a vacuum pulling me through and all around me in that vortex was evilness it was evil spirits it was all those evil spirits that were tormenting me for seven eight months straight and the good thing was is they couldn't touch me, they couldn't touch me, I was being sucked through. And as I was being sucked through, I ended up at the feet of Jesus. I kid you not, I'm not even making this up guys. Not even making this up. I swear on my life, I swear on the Lord. I ended up on the feet of Jesus and I was down on my knees and I was crying and I, I couldn't look up at him. I just, I just heard praise worship song just just echoing and that's, that's all that was uh, I was listening to and I, I couldn't see him but I knew and I felt his presence and I was crying uncontrollably and I just felt this smile that was rested upon my soul it was him smiling and I jumped up literally right after that moment <laughs> oh my god I, I never had those dreams ever again. I'm telling you, I was tormented. I had a black cloud over me. I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know if I was going to make it. I was so close to taking my life. <laughs> and the Lord rescued me. And He's been doing it over and over and over again every single day. His mercy, His grace is never ending. It's never failing. His love doesn't run out. No matter how much you freaking mess up, no matter how much you think you've, you're just too far gone, that there is no hope for you, we have a God that, that loves us and His love will endure forever. And He will meet us in our place, in our brokenness. He doesn't expect us to be perfect. He loves us in our brokenness. And He meets us in that place. And He feels that pain. And He goes through it with us. He doesn't just wait for us to go through it. He goes and meets us there and goes through it with us. He went through it with me and, and <laughs> ever since then man ever since then
Don't give up. Don't give up the hope. Don't give up. God has never given up on you, and He is not about to. His word is strong. His word will outlast this entire world. And He will bring to light all the things that you want to see happen in your life. He will give you the clarity. He will show you the way. And when I mean bring to light, that means He will uncover every lie. He will uncover every untruthful thing that's ever said about you and done to you. And He will right that wrong. And He will make all of your crooked places straight so all the mistakes and all the untruths and all the hurts that you have dished out you will make all those crooked places straight with all those people that you have wronged that's the God we serve and I'm sharing this story because it's so powerful you'll never give up and every time I talk about it I think about it it reminds me hey I've been there with you I was in there Tormented by those spirits anymore. Here we are. 